it's time to say goodbye. Yo, what's going on, baby? How are you? Welcome to another video. My name's Nate, and today I am taking you through my DJ bag. Woo! Okay, so if you don't know who I am, I am a 26 year old full time professional DJ based in the southwest of England. I'm actually based specifically Gloucestershire and Wiltshire. I've played in many uh, destinations, venues, I play nightclubs, restaurants, bars, um, open day events, charity events, festivals, you name it, I, I play it basically, and any kind of genre, very open format. But one of the questions I always get asked is what do I actually take to work with me, what do I need to DJ and do my job? So, this is my DJ bag, and this is my new DJ bag. Okay, so let me explain. I have had this bag for well over eight years and she has been a very trusty servant of mine. However, the zips are starting to break, the pockets are starting to, they've seen better days. So I've taken the plunge and I've bought the same bag because it is an absolutely outstanding bag. This is the UDG Ultimate DJ Backpack. You can get it from pretty much all the DJ stores. We have traveled many, many miles together. We have done hundreds, hundreds, probably thousands and thousands of gigs. But today is the day I'm gonna have to part ways with my beloved DJ bag and say hello to the new. So that's actually the same, it's not actually that exciting. However, I saw this as an opportunity to bring you through everything that I actually have in this backpack. Okay, so a quick tour of the bag. This is the UDG Ultimate DJ backpack. Now you have a side pocket for your laptop. It's all crushed because of the packaging. We have three pockets at the top here. So we have one small one there, one medium, one overall size. This is called the snack department in my current bag. We then have two side pockets here. These are the red ball compartments. One that side and one this side. My girth of the backpack is this. We've got a little pocket here for another laptop. Call that space there. So that is the main compartment. And then we've got two front pockets. We've got a big front pocket here, a nice little carry case there. And then we have a front with a little bit of netting, compartments for pens, hard drives, another zip compartment there for some hidden snacks in my case. And lastly, we do have a cup holder on the side, which I actually use to use flask of coffee on the side, keep me awake on the road. Now we are gonna go into the old one, empty it compartment by compartment. I'm gonna show you exactly what I have got in this bad boy. Okay, so the first compartment we are gonna go into is the laptop. This is my laptop, it is a MacBook Pro 15 inch, no idea how old it is. Laptops are pretty crucial. I'm more of a Serato based DJ. However, I am kind of switching over to record box, but this controls all my record box music library. This controls my Serato, everything. This laptop is only for DJing. There's actually nothing else in there. There's actually three different compartments within this. So you can actually fit three laptops in. Okay, and then the pockets at the top. The first one, the little one I have backup pair of ear protectors a long time with loud music and every single night obviously that's going to affect my hearing. I do have a backup pair just here. Normally when Izzy or one of my mates comes I normally give them this. So these are just Sennheiser ones off Amazon. So in the middle compartment we have my actual ear protection. Now these are some ACS custom made earplugs. Okay so these are my custom made earplugs. Now these have actually been molded to my ear and they have uh, the reducer thing just there. ACS custom molds. I would 100,000% recommend them. I've got a little string so that they don't fall apart, I don't lose them because they are quite small. But I am actually gonna put a link in the description for these because to me, these are one of the most important bits of equipment that I do have in my bag. So you do get a nice little carry case of it, you get a cream just in case they get sore, you get a little clip. It did take me quite a while to get used to these, like a good six, six, eight weeks. Once you do get over and you do get used to wearing these, these are an absolute hearing game changer. And then as well, in this compartment I do have a USB hub because you can never have too many USB hubs. Plug in hard drives in, plug in external devices. Again, I come into the sides. We have one, two, three cans of Red Bull. Now, I'm not a massive lover of Red Bull, however, because I do multiple gigs in a day and I could be out for 14, 16 hours. Sometimes my energy is very low to get a little bit of sugar, a little bit of energy in me. I have these here purely as a backup. And then I do have a pack of chewing gum because you do not want a stinky breath when people coming over asking you for song requests. Okay, so the next one is this hidden top compartment. One of the most useful compartments in this bag. I have an SSD hard drive for record box music. I'm gonna go into this later on. Uh, Skittles, drumsticks, again for sugar, because you need high energy with my job. Couple of trays of paracetamol, baggie of half inch to full inch 
jack headphone adapters. These are basically your connectivity for your headphones into a mixer because most mixers are one inch jack inputs. A lot of headphones are quarter inch so if you carry some adapters with you then at least you're never gonna not be able to use your headphones. The next one is an iPhone charger. A VK bottle opener, no idea why it's in there. But these are just USB-C to USB normal adapters and this is a USB-C laptop and a lot of my stuff are all the normal USB plugs. Smart. This is a spare hard drive cable because if you ever have a hard drive cable go you've lost all your music. I'm all about backups and this is just a floating USB stick just some random tunes on it so if I ever get stuck and I ever just need to quickly grab something a couple of songs just to get me by and then a very important tool which a lot of people laugh when I show them that a paintbrush and you ask why do you want a paintbrush for if you have your index decks get very very messy very dusty particles from the smoke machines people i've come out of nightclubs and my control has been absolutely disgusting paintbrush <sighs> cleaning tool for your decks top pocket we have got an extension for my mac charger sometimes sockets are a little further than they should be in a dj booth so just in case got the extension lead there got an aux cable if all else fails and your laptop dies your controller dies everything dies at least you can still plug your phone in wing it these are some spare phono leads now these are the red and white phono leads um, these are always handy to have when you're plugging into club decks for example there's been clubs that i've been to with cdjs and they haven't even got phono cables for them so it's always good to have oh throwback so natty mixtapes freshers 2019 and then i've actually got a normal usb to a usb c hub then we've got what we call some printer cables can't remember what that side is but just type in printer cable usb pretty much every controller that you use uh, and cdj if you're using it through your laptop are all going to require a printer cable. I've got a spare microphone cable and that is it. Now we're going to get to the juicy stuff, the proper, the hardcore, the main stuff. Okay, so this big compartment is the heart of my DJ stash. Sennheiser HD25 headphones. Now these I would 100% recommend. If these are like nearly 10 years old and yeah, they've seen better days. Every single part of these headphones you can just buy off Amazon. So you can just change the part rather than have to buy new headphones whenever they break. No spray, no lay, Omani Punani. It's always carried the urgent review because nightclubs are quite a hot, sweaty place. Right, and then on to my music. Now my music, I actually have two hard drives. This is the Lacey hard drive. Highly recommend them. These are very robust, very reliable, really, really good. Um, and this has all of my music on. This is pretty much the heart of my DJ life. If this goes, I'm gone. A Seagate hard drive and this is a backup so whenever anything changes on this hard drive this hard drive gets updated so if i do ever lose this hard drive i have got a backup and then lastly for the music these are my usb sticks now these are just random sticks with random playlists basically if i'm like running tight on a gig or i've got stuck in traffic and they've got house decks i can literally just plug a usb stick and just get going run in grab that put it in stick a little like 10 minute mix on and then that gives you 10 minutes to like chill properly get yourself ready not rushing around my microphone now i have a short sm58 short sm58 with the switch can't lie this is pretty pricey but you get what you pay for my dad's actually used to use these 40 years ago best portable microphones that you can buy on the market microphone comes with a cable now this is actually a van damme cable which is actually a nice brand next up is my laptop charger because obviously i need to charge my laptop and then this is just a usb c to print a cable because obviously i've got a new laptop so i did actually buy a new cable and then the last thing in my dj bag is a laptop stand now this is uh eagleton engineering to be honest i got it off amazon if you just type in folding dj laptop stand let me go after eight blessed beloved years with this dj bag it's time Say goodbye and bring in the new one. We're gonna hit up a time lapse. I'm gonna load this up and then I'm gonna go over my controller of choice and a few little game changers that will help you um, tremendously on your DJ journeys. So don't go anywhere. Let's try and get this all back in here. Okay, so with the DJ bag out of the way, I'm gonna go through a few optional extras that could help make your life easy. The first one is, I always carry a big water bottle. Now I call this whole keggy. When you're playing in front of hundreds and hundreds, thousands of people, you can't exactly go nip off to the bar and go grab yourself a drink. So I have myself a big girt keg. The next one is carry yourself a pair of XLR cables. Although I don't use them very often, I have used them quite a few times over the years. There's been times where even the cables are broken in the, in the nightclub and I'm like, oh no, let me just nip to my car, go grab mine. Never be too prepared. 
SP1. Again, this is a bit of an addition. This basically, your hot cues, samples, loops, everything that if you are a controller DJ, this basically brings the controller element to the CDJs. Basically, it turns the CDJs into a DJ controller. Okay, so the SP1 is actually out of use. It is discontinued, which means they no longer make them. They actually do have the XP1 and the XP2. And the last item is this. I think I'm the only DJ in the country that actually carries this around with them. Fanny. The amount of times I've been in a DJ booth, sweating so much that I can't actually concentrate. Type in folding fan on Amazon. Folds up. It is amazing. It's done by remote as well. So yeah, if like me, you suffer from always being hot, honestly, I'd recommend it. The only thing I haven't gone over is actually my controller setup. That is because I have a DDJ SX3. It's an absolute game changer. I've had it for about two, three years now. I'm not going to get it out now, but if you do want a good sturdy controller, the RX3. 100% recommend. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of my DJ bag tour. Hopefully this has come in handy for you. Whether you're an existing DJ and there's some bits in there that you're like, well, I haven't thought about that. That's quite handy. That's quite a good idea. The fan. Then hopefully this has helped you. You're very welcome. If you have any questions, back them down in the comments. I'm always happy to help you out. If you're after some links to anything and you want to buy any of these items yourself, again, just drop a comment or message me. I'm more than happy to send a link for you. For myself, mate and the brand new DJ bag, and the DJ bag of eight years. Thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, bell notification so you haven't missed a ting. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a cheeky thumbs up. I need to check down the umbrella. Thumbs up, mate. Thank you very much. We'll see ya.